Now, see, I saw an interview with a bunch of these people. They're a part of this because they want to be a part of something that's bigger than themselves. They are so desperate for connection. And they found connection in disinformation and misinformation. You know, they could be a part of something bigger than themselves. With the other 85% of us that are trying to end this fucking pandemic. Why don't they care about ending the pandemic? From what it looks like, all they care about is berating minimum wage workers. Harassing hotel staff. Harassing homeless shelters. To the point where the homeless shelter just fucking feeds them to get rid of them. Because they won't wear a fucking mask to go into a goddamn restaurant in Ottawa. Literally defecating on the streets. What happened to caring about hospital workers and healthcare workers? I love banging your pots and pans in April and May 2020. But what now? You don't give a flying fuck about people that have died. People that have long haul COVID. Kids that are in children's hospital fighting for their lives with this disease. Y'all just want something to fucking bitch about. And then... Above all of it, you march beside literal fucking Nazis and white supremacists and just pretend to what, look the other way? Like you're not part of that fucking movement now too? I've got some fucking news for you. You are. Your little anti-mask and anti-vax mandate bullshit has been co-opted by fucking white supremacists. It's a fucking joke. And when you all pretend to be like you're bigger than you are, again, news flash. 85% of people don't have a problem with the mandates. We would rather get through this fucking pandemic. You can bitch and complain and whine all you want, but Trudeau's not changing shit. Now y'all just look like a bunch of QAnon white supremacist trash. Go fucking home. Go back to your jobs. Put on a mask when you're in public. Get vaccinated. And shut the fuck up. Holy fuck.